This is the tea portion of the Get Ready With Me Chit Chat session. Y'all ready? <laughs> this video because I've been wanting to shoot it for so long and I've just been real busy. Oh my god, did you guys see I have my nails done? Yes. Oh my god, y'all. We got so much to talk about. But this will get ready with me, obviously. So I'm going to also have to do my makeup. I know my brows, y'all already know, brows are already done. I have concealer on my lids. We about to go in with some color, y'all. I got a lot to say. I'm just really, really excited. I'm going to be using my Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette just so you know. Woo! Y'all ready for this? This video is basically for like my true, true snowflakes. Cause if you're not, you're not really gonna care about a lot of the stuff I'm talking about. So just keep that in mind. If you wanna leave, there's the door, literally. The door is right there. You're not gonna be able to exit that door, but there's a little X button here that you can, you know what to do. I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy. Um, I really wanna do like some neutral browns and a black lid. I don't know why, but that's that's what I have in mind. So that's what we're going to do. There are going to be a lot of freaking changes to my channel. By the time you see this video, you have already seen, or maybe you haven't, but another makeup video has already been out. Um, An everyday like transformation, you ready with me? I don't know what the hell I'm titling it because it ain't been titled yet, <laughs> but something like that. So you guys, I did a poll on my channel. Oh, damn, that was too dark. Anyway, I did a poll on my channel, um, I want to say the other day, it doesn't matter, and I asked you guys, like, hey, do you guys want me to, you know, do some beauty videos and just do, you know, some lifestyle too, but mostly beauty, or do you want to keep this, like, a lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle-focused channel? And, you guys, the, the results were so neck and neck, like, basically the healthy lifestyle channel won, but it was so close, it was like maybe a six- percent um percentage off or whatever it was very very close um and it made me begin to remember like y'all i've been so focused on trying to i, I don't know what i was doing y'all when i was making um the key first of all i uploaded the keto video over a year ago and that video basically went viral in terms of my channel. Like, it just blew the hell up. And all the videos surrounding it that were, like, about keto, like, blew the hell up. And honestly, I don't even know, like, what made me upload that first keto video anyway. Like, I cannot remember. I wish I could remember, but I can't. Like, I don't know why I did it. Because I had been dabbling, dabbling in keto for a while. But for whatever reason, I decided to upload a what I eat in a day, like, keto video. And it just took the fuck off. And I just kept making them. Because it was doing well and people liked it. So, somehow with all of that, like, my channel did, like, just start growing. And it has stopped since I stopped keto. Like, it doesn't grow. I mean, it's still growing. But it doesn't grow, like, as quickly as it did when I was doing keto. And, um, but somehow, I don't know where, but I've had my channel for so long. Like, I've had it since 2013. I haven't been consistent with it since 2013. I only really got consistent with it probably in about 2017 from what I can remember at the present time. But, um, somehow along the way, I forgot that before you were talking about what I eat in the days, because that's all I really been doing is like, what I eat in the day, what I eat in the day, oh, food hauls, blah, blah, blah. Before that, you was girl uploading makeup tutorials and vlogs and just like whatever. And like you had accumulated over 20,000 subscribers doing that. And then you just up and forgot about that and uploaded a makeup tutorial in the year child prior to the one that you guys that i uploaded before this it has been over a year and it's like what the hell man like you just what about us what about all of the things you told me what about what about what about us what about us do y'all remember that song i don't know what the hell like how i forgot but 
if you guys remember also, like I've been complaining a lot, or not complaining, but complaining about like, oh, my content, I'm not liking it, it's this, this, and that. Y'all be like, girl, your content is fine. And it's really because I didn't notice at the time, but now I know. And I know this from the previous makeup video that I did before this one. Like, I really, really enjoyed filming that video. Like, y'all don't even know. I enjoyed editing it. I enjoyed the whole process. And it's like, you forgot all about this. You forgot that your first YouTube video woo, child, <laughs> was makeup. I haven't even been purchasing makeup. Like, everything has just been so healthy food, working out, just all that healthy fitness lifestyle thing has just consumed my life, which is awesome. It's great. I benefited from it. But it's like, I forgot what the hell I was doing before, what I like doing, why I was doing this to begin with. So, y'all, basically, as you can see, the makeup videos are back. And I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm not going to do healthy lifestyle and all of that anymore because that's still very much a part of my life but baby so i miss being pretty like i'm not even pretty no more because i'm always freaking working out and talking about eating healthy food and going to the grocery store that i don't even i barely do my makeup and i was like but that's not me and i feel so much better being cute on camera okay so y'all i'm going back i'm back I'm in this thing. Uh, all my OG snowflakes. No, like back. So basically, what the channel, what I'm going to do or whatever, I'm going for it. Again, I'm not abandoning healthy lifestyle videos or none of that because that's a part of my life very much so. And I love it. it I, I'm glad that I got into it. You know, everything happened for a reason. The keto video had to go up and had to blow up for me to really get serious about my health. And then finding out that, hey, you're being sucked up into a diet culture and this isn't you know, helping you, you need to find a better way. Why don't, instead of you just trying to focus on losing weight real quick and cutting out carbs, why don't your ass just eat healthier and go to the gym? I feel like all of that had to happen for me to get to this point. So I'm not mad about it, but y'all, we is back to the basics. So I am going to continue to upload what I eat in the days, maybe once a week, maybe I'm not promising, but you guys will get some. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do vlogs. <laughs> it's all be in the gym it's on my vlogs uh -huh. um and really like makeup and fashion videos because that's what i always wanted to do like when i first started watching youtube ever my first youtube videos were about natural hair because i had just cut off my hair and did a big chop and i was natural and those were my first videos that i ever watched and then i started watching makeup videos and then i learned how to do my makeup from watching makeup videos and i'm like yo how the fuck did i get so far from this but i want to go back so that's what i'm going to do and if you are one of those people that just wanted strictly healthy lifestyle videos, I'm so sorry. I hope that you'll still rock with me. But if not, it's cool because I got to do what I got to do for me. So go back to the eyes. I did that one shade of brown. I'm about to do a darker brown. Real quick, it's simple and easy. I'm about to do a darker brown, then I'm just going to put a black on the lid. But y'all, that's, what, that's what's going on. I hope that you guys are happy about it and like yay good you know variety of videos also let me talk about that y'all i'm so sorry like i don't deserve y'all <laughs> i'm gonna be real real honest i don't deserve y'all because this is what happened when i uploaded that keto video and it did so well and it just took off and i kept just repeating keto videos that was me trying to appease youtube's algorithm to grow and it was working until my ass was like i don't want to do keto and I'm also not a fake ass bitch. So I couldn't just upload keto videos and secretly not do keto. So I had to drop it. But instead of me trying to appease the damn algorithm to grow, like how you just gonna drop the people that been here for you? Bro, we was 20K deep. I just keep thinking about that. Like we literally was 20K deep. And I just said, F it, I'm going to run with this and build a new audience. And, like, you just totally abandoned your old audience. That's exactly what happened, y'all. And I was talking to somebody about that on Instagram. And they were like, well, you didn't really abandon us. Yes, the fuck I did. Because I was just like, oh, screw makeup. I'm healthy lifestyle. with Girl, you didn't have to, like, just not do makeup and do that. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, I do know. Again. I was trying to appease the algorithm and the algorithm like for you to niche down and stay on the same shit. Yeah, that's cool, whatever. But I'm 
I'm here for the people, my people. So that's the thing. Like, screw an algorithm, honestly. That's how I feel. I'm, I feel bad to say it because I put so much into it at first. But, like, the people that comment on my videos, all my videos, there are a few people that sticking out in my mind that literally comment on every damn if they miss the video i ain't noticed they come in on almost every damn video which means they watch every damn video and like bro who gonna be there for you is gonna be there for you no matter what you're doing so you ain't got to be trying to suck up and do algorithm shit and like just all of it irritates me and i was i'm just so mad that i even succumbed to it because it's like baby why though I don't know y'all but we are back and i appreciate everybody that support me and all the damn bullshit that i be doing and being all back and forth and all of that like i appreciate y'all because y'all could have just been like uh-uh okay no <laughs> we we finna move on because girl we don't know what the hell but anyway that's what it is so also um i don't know what video is going to go up first so i'm not even going to lie to you but there's a video that i'm going to talk about i already kind of mentioned about like my weight loss like i lost over 10 pounds and also that's another reason why i'm like screw this because first of all i'm gonna again i don't know what video gonna go up first but i really wanted to lose weight only because the motherfuckers that told me i could not do it because i wasn't keto no more and i was like Okay, how people been losing weight before people was doing keto, baby? They was exercising and just watching what they eat. So why can't I do that? So I did it. So now it's just like, mm, well, I already did it. So it's like the thrill is gone because I did it. And honestly, y'all, I also love being very, very chunky. Like, I love supporting plus-size women. I love being a plus-size woman. And so I don't want to not be plus-size. Honestly, I don't think I ever could not be plus-size. I feel like even if I lost 30 pounds, I would still be real hippie. So I would be considered plus size because I'm never going to be like basically what they tell you at the doctor. Like that little stupid chart. Guess what? They say I'm supposed to be 150. Girl. 150? Shit. Who's going to be 150? Girl, 150 is... I don't even want to be under 200 pounds. And if I ever was, for whatever reason, I just got to be under 200 pounds... I would like to keep it like as close to 200 as possible. So like 199, 195. So like basically, girl, you just finna be big all your life, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I, I enjoy being thick and chunky, y'all. But with that being said, so when I do my what I eat today, I have not decided if I'm going to be like, oh, what I eat today, plus size. Or if I'm going to be like, what I eat today to be fine and thick, because that's what I am. Yes. And I hope y'all are happy and excited because I told y'all about that. Could y'all just leave me some suggestions in the then go on description box? What kind of makeup we gonna be doing? What what we gonna be doing, child? I'm open because might as well can't go nowhere but the fuck up. Cause we ain't been doing shit, y'all. We've been doing the same thing, and that's why I've been getting so freaking irritated and bored. Cause it's just like, child, like I like to be me, and that was just getting so boring because it was just the same ass. Shit. Um, I'm about to go ahead and pack this lid color on. Ooh, if I can find my hair is my Sigma brush. I did like you guys can see basically it's just like dark browns in the crease, and now I'm about to put black in the lid. But now that the changes is out of the way, I would like to say that remember when I brought up like me making a Patreon, and y'all was for it, you know. And then YouTube came and was like, oh, you've been approved for channel memberships. And I'm like, yeah, after I just put all this into making a Patreon, but okay, YouTube, whatever. Y'all, so I wanted to make a Patreon because I wanted to do like private vlogs that was more like about my life and stuff going on for you guys. But honestly, you guys, like, I don't want to charge y'all for that because I feel like even if people were going to pay for it or not, because y'all know black people be hyping some shit up like, yeah, girl, we're going to be in that thing. And then it be nobody. Yeah. Anyway, I just be like, I was thinking like, girl, who is you? <laughs> who you think you is? Like, you know, Beyonce could, bro, y'all, if Beyonce had a platform where she was uploading like videos about her life, do y'all know how many people would fucking pay for that shit? Everybody, except for me, because I'm sorry. Like, I just feel like Beyonce. But if it was somebody else, I would probably pay for it. Like, you know, I hate to say it because I know y'all going to be mad. Like, if it was Kanye oh, oh, or Kendrick Lamar, I would definitely pay for it. Anyway, long story short, 
Um, I don't think that I have the rights <laughs> to charge y'all for some damn funky ass vlogs because I should be happy, and I am, that y'all even interested in watching the damn vlogs that's on YouTube, let alone me trying to be like, well, these is private ones. Um, and mostly I just wanted to do it because, again, there's just some stuff that I wanted to address, and, like, I didn't want it to just be, like, open to the public, but screw that. I mean, that thing. Y'all, Okay. So, that's that. Now, with the Patreon, there's supposed to be an accountability page for, like, people that wanted just, like, a little extra tips or help or advice from me regarding, um, you know, weight loss and he healthy eating, which I may do that. I don't know, though. Like, y'all, I don't, I feel like no matter what way it is, like, even though I know that you can be healthy and stuff without pushing diet culture and you can lose weight without diet culture, but I feel like somehow if I start that page, that's what it's going to turn into, and I don't want to do that. So, long story short, y'all, I need to learn how to stop spreading myself so thin, and I come up with all these ideas. I come up with some ideas that I don't even tell nobody about, and good thing I don't because I end up not doing this shit anyway, only because, like, sis focus on what you're trying to do i'm already in school and like i really really enjoy making my freaking youtube videos so maybe i should just worry about that right now and get to a point where i'm comfortable and i feel like i have acquired something which is probably gonna be like 100k because you get the fucking plaque and shit after that then we can start doing extra shit but until then you need to focus because i will be all over the place which again if you an og you you already knew that like i'm already i'm always just like all over the place in scatterbrain because i try to take on so much at once and end up not doing shit because i get irritated and overwhelmed so yeah I'm not saying that there will not be a Patreon at all. Well, not it won't be a Patreon, but like the YouTube membership channel. I'm not saying like it will not be one at all, but like y'all, I don't, I'm not charging for vlogs because baby boo, you better be glad somebody ain't watching these damn videos that you got. And I don't know if I want to do the accountability page because I just don't want it to come succumb to like a damn diet culture situation so uh i don't know we'll see about that but i still do have my what brand eats page so you guys can see everything i'm eating i'll tag that below and again i'm still gonna be doing like you know uh what i eat in the day videos for y'all because y'all like it and i mean i think that it does help people to see how they can be healthier and make better decisions without it being a fucking diet all the goddamn time because literally the whole like diet market i don't know what i'm supposed to call it but that whole diet market just want to make money off y'all that's all they're trying to do so they're gonna push anything that they can for people that's desperate about trying to lose some weight they feeding off the desperativity they're feeding off of that desperate nature to put coins in their pocket and I don't peep game and I don't like it. It's not cool. So I don't want to, I don't want to be involved. Y'all, I don't know why when I said, like when I was telling y'all about my face initially, I was like, oh, I'm going to have some browns in the creases in a black lid. This a whole ass smoky eye. I swear it was not even supposed to be like this. Oh! It was not supposed to be like this, but it's damn show a whole smoky eye. Or we gonna have to move on. I threw on these lashes, y'all, that I do not like because they they're they're itty bitty. They not lit. Anyway, in case y'all wanna know, this is it. This is what it is. It's damn beauty supply lash. I need to find me a lash plug for real. Miss Express Lash, baby. Okay, look. If this what y'all want, but I ain't feeling these because they not fluffy like i like big fluffy lashes and these ain't fluffy but okay i guess mm. so let me go ahead and prime y'all know i've been using my hourglass veil and it, woo, it's amazing this is my third time using it so like i think i know what i'm talking about now but no like how i get those smile lines and stuff usually this ain't gave me no problem i guess i'm gonna go ahead and have to buy the 53 dollar bottle because this is the trial size um for like what is it like 20 dollars i think but this is the truth so now let where my little powder puff at i'm gonna go ahead and set my um promo y'all already know all right so back to the stuff that's going on child this is the tea portion of the get ready with me chit chat session 
Y'all ready? So, mostly, y'all, when I was talking about making that Patreon account that I was telling y'all about for the little vlogs, the private vlogs, or whatever, it's a whole bunch of stuff that done went on that I know y'all would not believe me if I told y'all. It is a lot, child. It's a lot. So, this is what I'm going to do because I got to get into it. Y'all see I put the powder on my face. I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this black. Oh, oh my God. It's just a drop left, y'all. I got to get me some more. So, oh, I didn't tell y'all about the nails. So, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, y'all. Back, y'all know that I was playing football, right? Okay. So, football season is over, but we're supposed to start practice again December 3rd. Baby, I don't want to get these nails done, and I am feeling like my old self. So, I don't know if I'm going to continue. Because I, like... I'm back for real, for real. I got nails. I'm a whole beauty girl up in this thing. What? I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to tell y'all about nails. Speaking of, y'all, I am I ain't going to make this long. Whatever. These are the nails. They're not the nails I wanted. These two nail texts canceled. I'm going to try the last minute. No, I'm going to Houston. That's a lot. Back to what we need to talk about. So, I got this little bit of black opal left. I'm about to just go ahead and put on my face really quick. I'm going to turn y'all off because when I come back, Whew. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I'm about to go ahead and apply uh, my concealer. Just in case somebody was really here for the makeup beats, I'm going to have everything in the freaking description box for you guys. But it's time to get into this tea, child. So all of my OG snowflakes and some that ain't OG that you've been here for a while know all the what the heck is this on my oh it's a little pimple <laughs> no all the freaking drama that was going on with me and like my family and like me and my dad wasn't talking and like y'all know the ex-husband and the cousin had the baby and the child if you know you know if you don't child you know where to tell you to go get the information or anything because it's too much but for y'all that is up on game and everything, y'all will not believe the update that I'm about to give y'all. I've been like debating. I did really want to make this private because it's like, it's crazy. But at the same time, like I said, I'm not going to be charging y'all for no damn vlogs, child. Because mm, baby, let somebody even care. But um, y'all is not going to believe what I'm about to tell y'all. Y'all is not going to believe it. So, as of today... Me, uh, ooh, me and my ex-husband slash cousin, because my cousin now, if he has, my his child is my cousin, so I guess he's my cousin. <laughs> Y'all, we friends. <laughs> we is whole friends in these streets, child. We be texting. <laughs> Woo, Y'all, we from Bear's friends. Child, we done got invited over to his house. Y'all, it's just, y'all probably like, what the fuck? How's y'all friends, bitch? What? Okay, look. So, this is the tea on that. When our uh, marriage ended, like, we never really stopped talking. And not talking like, you know, messing around talking. But, like, we never stopped talking as in the terms, like, we was friends. Like, I would be telling him about stuff going on in my life. He'd be telling me about stuff going on in his life. And we was talking to Mm -hmm. some stuff was going on that I was unaware about and it was so crazy because when it was going on and I didn't know like he kind of like distanced himself from me and I was like what the hell like I was confused like because we was like I just said we was cool and we was talking that all of a sudden like I would be you know trying to call him or text him or whatever and this he was just like ignore me so I was I didn't know what the hell was going on and it wasn't long until I found out so then of course y'all know when I found out we wasn't talking anymore. So, anyway. All that. I say all that to say, y'all, like, even though it's weird and some of y'all are probably like, I don't even know how you talking to this man, X, Y, Z. Like, y'all, I really did miss his freaking friendship. Like, I forgot how good of friends we were and, like, how we used to talk. And it was just, like, lit. Like, you know how some people you just not meant to be with, but y'all click on a whole nother level. That's the type of relationship that we had. And then all this drama happened, so we wasn't talking anymore. Long story short, y'all, like, we have discussed so much stuff. I'm going to set my face with air spun in case y'all care. We have discussed so much stuff that, like, I'm one of them people, like, I am... I'm a forgiving person. I really am. Because at the end of the day, like, we all people and stuff happen. And I know y'all is probably like, girl, she out her mind. But no, 
I'm not, I can't sit here and act like an angel in innocent. If you know, you know. But, like, during our marriage, a whole bunch of stuff happened and that I done did and it was bad. And it's not, I'm not saying, like, oh, well, you deserved it. It was karma, you know, with me. But it is what it is. Like, it just is what it is. Now, the next thing, though, me and that girl that's supposed to be my cousin, I can't mess with her. Listen, y'all, I don't, don't y'all jump in the description about something else. You forgave him, but you didn't forgive her. No, ma'am, sir, whoever you is. No, 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 no. So what happened to how, like, we got this reconciliation is, like, I think I mentioned before, but, like, so my ex-husband had some stuff going on or whatever in his life, and he ended up, like, being in my dad's house for a while. Like, he was living there for, like, a month or two or whatever. So, like, when I would go over there because me and my dad had reconciled, he was there. So, like, that's kind of how, like, we started talking. Like, when I first went over there, um, after, you know, all of this, I, I made it clear that, you know, I come in peace. Clearly, like I did. I came through the thing. Hi, how are you? You know, just talking. And that's basically how we started talking. Every time I would see him, I would just say, hi, how are you? And then, you know, it would be little stuff like he would just say hi. Then one day it was hi, oh, I like your truck. And then, you know, just kind of like build it up. Oh, hi, da 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 oh, oh, hi. Then we start joking and laughing, you know, kind of like build it up. So, y'all, at the same time, one day when I went over there, actually it was a couple of times, but one day, it was the first time I went over there, and so the cousin, that is the female, was there, and I treated her just like I treated him. Hi, how are you? Bitch looked at me like I was fucking dumb, like she saw a ghost. Okay, okay, cool, all right. Second time, I go over there, and she's there. Hi, how are you? Okay, so now there's an issue, bitch, because this is the thing, y'all. I am the bigger person. I'm always the bigger person. I have come to accept that even though I hate being the bigger person, I am the bigger person because I just, I'm not really good at holding grudges, apparently. Like, I just not. So, like, I'm over here speaking to you. Whatever happened in our relationship or between us is over damn three years old. And I'm just saying hi. I'm not asking you to be my best friend and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But a simple hi will suffice because that's what you do. When somebody greets you, you greet them back. You ain't got to have a conversation or none of that. You say hi, hi, goodbye. But you, okay, mind you, this is at my daddy's house, y'all. This girl is over here looking at me like I'm retarded. Like, she's seen the damn ghost and she don't know how to speak. And this happened two times. So, I got to the point where, okay, guess what? I can't say nothing else to your ass. Because the next time I say something to your ass and you look at me like I'm stupid, we're going to have a whole problem because I'm mad now. Uh, we're going to have a whole problem. So, I had to just be quiet and not say nothing. So, like, when I see her, it be an issue because it's just like... Why are you still mad? Nobody should be mad. All the shit that has transpired in our relationship, her, me, him, is over three years old. Baby, whatever it is, it is, it's going to be, and we got to let it go. I'm all for letting the shit go, as y'all see I did with my ex-husband, because we all have to, like, be around each other, unfortunately. There is a child involved. My daddy all up in it, like... It's nothing that we can do. Like, we just have to be bothered with each other. So, the least we could do is just be cordial. Like, I ain't expecting her to be, like, me and my ex-husband cool and shit. That's cool. Whatever. Even though, even though I feel like that is crazy because me and him cool and we over it. But you the one who blood related to me. And... Whew. I don't like females, y'all. I know that half of my subscribers. Not half. 98% of my subscribers are women and I'm all for a women empowerment y'all I have my social media sisters that I love and uplift every time they post a picture but y'all know how women are the women know how women are I don't know what's wrong with women I always felt like I should have been a boy and like I've said that multiple times on my channel I act like a boy kind of like me and my ex-husband like I was telling Bear You'll have a, a man or have a falling out. Like, they'll get into it. They may even fight, fight, like fist fight. The next day, they call each other and be like, bro, you know, I was tripping. Bro, it's cool. Don't even worry about it. They over it. I don't care what happened. Women, oh, no. We got to drag this to the beginning of time. I'll never forget that you rolled your eyes at me. Child, I don't have that to do. Like, because this is nothing. Like, it is what it is. But, okay, since she wants to be like that. <laughs> I've decided like girl goodbye because also 
like what the thing that transpired between our relationship, I don't know if y'all know, is like we used to live together and she was trifling. I made a whole video about her being trifling, I did, and it wasn't really about her as much as it was about me and all of the growth that has transpired. Like y'all, I used to be super, super petty. I kind of wish I still had the video up. <sighs> Just so y'all can see how petty I was. Like I was so petty and I'm so not petty no more. Like the whole video was about me being gro my growth. And like, so I did, I cut her cable cord in her room cause she didn't pay the cable bill. She was up there with her boyfriend not paying the cable bill. I did all kinds of stuff y'all. I kicked her out on the slide. Like I was like told her basically we had to leave the house or the apartment, but we didn't. And so she ended up leaving and I was still there. All of that, I did all of that, but because she was doing some shit that she, I ain't gonna say because people get mad when I tell the truth. She was doing some shit that was trifling. I didn't feel safe in my apartment. I just couldn't get with it. And so I made a video about it. And um, all I did was tell your business, okay, what well, family don't do that? I mean, I'm not saying it was right, but I told your business. That's like the worst thing that I did. And because I told your business and you felt some type of way, first of all, I don't like the fact that to this day she deny stuff talking about it i lied i ain't lie i'm not a liar there's one thing i'm not i may talk too much math too big baby i'm not a liar so if we can't even get past you admitting what you did then there's no way we can ever go anywhere so that's the whole thing like we me and my ex-husband we already said well i did this and i'm sorry he said well i did this and i'm sorry we both apologize to each other for everything that we've ever done but with this girl she can't even see what she did or she would act like she didn't do it then we can't go nowhere like we could never go anywhere because you won't admit to what you fucking did so me trying to be cool with her and not not friends or nothing but just trying to be cordial like i cannot because baby no you uh -uh. you're not even the type of person that I want to be cordial with because you got to admit you older than me. Damn, ain't you 30? You got to admit what you did, blah, 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 blah. And we can move on, but you can't even do that. You can't even speak to somebody when they speaking to you over some shit that's three, four years old. So, whatever. So, that's that, y'all. Um, And I'm sorry. I'm about to add some yellow under my bottom lid, even though I probably shouldn't. Woo! No, ma'am. I shouldn't. Mm, and I already kind of did. Not with this brush. Y'all, I'm going to F this makeup look up doing too much. But, um, basically, y'all, that's the tea with that. So, like, I don't, me and my dad are cool. Me and my ex-husband are cool. I don't, I got unresolved issues with this child that ain't going to ever be resolved. It doesn't look like, which is fine with me. It's just real, real sad because everybody else is just, like, cool. And you just, like, doing the most. But, that is what it is, but that's really what I wanted to, like, make the Patreon to talk about and, like, just to keep you guys updated on stuff like that. Even though, y'all see, I got this freaking fallout on my face. Even though, like, I am typically don't have a lot of drama, this is just one of them things that, you know, seems like it's always going to be an update to tell you guys about, but maybe not, because, like, she the only, like, link that's fucked up and it's not going to get fixed, so yeah. So, like, if Thanksgiving is coming up, and like I said, I'm going to Houston, so I don't have to be bothered with this shit because y'all, I'm really like at a breaking point where I'm like, no, no. Everybody is just like trying to just like walk around the situation and I'm not like a walk around the situation type of person. I'm a now we're going to have to address this because this is what's going on type of person. So yeah. Can y'all see like that yellow under my eye? Yeah, y'all can a little bit. Anyway, so that's pretty much the, the tea y'all now don't be in the comments talking shit i really want to hear what y'all have to say in the comments like about did y'all think that this was going to be the outcome <laughs> how do y'all feel like about me and my ex-husband like being cool and talking and like basically we're friends like is that weird i don't know but bear was telling me how I, um bear was telling me how he was so proud of me because i came such a long way and i was like yes i have because child two years ago i wanted to blow up my father's house like i just wanted to fucking demolish that shit because i feel like everybody had me fucked up and they did and they still do but i've grown okay i have grown so yeah anyway y'all i don't know why i put that yellow under my eye you can barely see it but it is i'm going to Go ahead and put this mascara on my bottom lash line. 
So, y'all, with that being said, it's about to be Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's about to be a whole year. I am happy to say, though, that, like, all of this shit, like, died down before we got to the new God doggone decade. Yeah, it's about to be a whole other decade. And, like, whew, never would have made it without you. The Lord carried my ass because y'all... Like a lot of y'all said, I don't know how I'm not in jail. I don't know, but the Lord blessed me. Anyway, so it's about to be December, y'all. I'm about to go to Houston. I won't be back from Houston until the 3rd of December. But what y'all think about Vlogmas? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I know that everybody's like, yes, do Vlogmas, 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 Vlogmas. I don't know why y'all like my vlogs. We, me and Ben don't do shit, but go out to eat. What the hell, y'all love these damn vlogs? Look, this is the thing. I'm contouring, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> this is the thing about me doing vlogmas. I know y'all want me to do vlogmas, but I don't like putting out content that I don't feel is what it needs to be. Um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and attempt vlogmas. I think so. I don't know how it's going to go. This is my only thing. I kind of hate saying I'm going to do something and then I... I'm not going to do it. And it's not that I'm not going to do it. Like, I'll probably upload the first week in December, like, Vlogmas. And then after that, I'll be like, what the fuck? There's nothing going on. And I hate doing that because it just goes back to what I was saying earlier in the video about me starting stuff and, like, getting it over my head, doing too much. So, I don't know. Just take that into account when y'all saying, yes, do Vlogmas. Take that into account. Do you feel like it's too much? We got a lot going on. We already changing up the channel shit. <laughs> I know y'all still want Vlogmas. But I... And then I know some of y'all going to be like, well, just do vlog weeks. I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't do a lot. Like, y'all, I don't do a lot. I do my homework and I make YouTube videos and I take care of my dog and I go to the gym. That's pretty much my life. That's all I do. <sighs> Vlogmas, I don't know, y'all. I know y'all want it, but we're going to see. And then it's going to be a little difficult because, like I told you guys, I'm going to be in Houston, like, the first couple of days of Vlogmas. So, like, I guess those would be cool. But after that... It's going to be back to the regular old smegular life. I got so much going on, y'all. And so, like, another question that I wanted to ask, like, basically concerning Vlogmas is, like, honestly, y'all, do people even still do Vlogmas? And I mean, people besides, like, the vloggers that vlog their life anyway, like, they, they don't do shit but vlog. Like, their whole channel is a vlogging channel. Besides them. Do people really do Vlogmas? Because, baby, I probably got, I probably should invest my time in other shit. Like, try on hauls. <laughs> I don't know. But I know y'all want vlogs. So, y'all just, 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 just have, let's have a whole conversation in the doggone comment box of this video because I wish that I was live doing this slick. But the only thing about live is so, like, I would have got all up into the story and telling y'all stuff. And then people would have been, like, just now getting into the video. And they would have been like, wait, but what? What's going on? Like, all late because they wasn't really there. And that's why I didn't want to, like, do this live. But other than that, I would have did it live. But, yeah, y'all, what y'all think about Vlogmas? I don't know why I keep asking y'all that because I already know what y'all going to say. But just take into account everything I said. And then, and then, tell me what you think about Vlogmas. Y'all, we made it through this long ass chit chat. I literally just sprayed my face with some Mario, but that's cool, y'all. I hate when it does this. Like, you see all those spots and, like, it'll dry. But I hate when it do that. Like, do I be having a bottle too close to my face or some shit? I don't know. Anyway, for highlighter, what I'm doing, I'm just going to use my Sephora Stardust. Because this in here ain't never get used. It ain't got no top. It's raggedy. Yeah, girl. I'm going to use this and try not to put too much. Um, actually today is my last day before I go to Houston. I don't know if I said that. So, like, I'm actually about to go and get Lorraine because she has to dog sit, um, bash while I'm gone. So, that's what I'm doing today. And then, and then nothing. I'm going to freaking Houston, y'all. Y'all, I'm going to get me some freaking Lotus. I'm excited. That's, like, the only thing that I was excited about, like, as far as going to Houston was freaking Lotus. And I also haven't had Whataburger, but I guess. Anyway, y'all. Look, see, it dry, but I don't know why it does it in the first place. Um, I hate these lashes. They are just not big enough for me. Let me spray my face with my D-Slick and do my lips. See, my D-Slick powder doesn't do that. 
Like, I don't know. Okay, so y'all know the deal. I always use a brown a brown liner for my lips. But today I'm going to be wearing Max Naturally Transform. I don't really wear this because it's really, really light. You'll see in a minute. Most of the time I don't wear lipstick anyway. I just wear a lip gloss. But mm, I wanted to be a little extra today. So y'all see, like, it's really light. Like, I don't wear this lipstick without a gloss because it's just light. And, like, even though I have a liner on and everything, I don't know. It just looks kind of weird to me. But when you put a gloss on, it's okay. So, I'm going to be adding um, Rihanna's Diamond Milk. Yeah, Diamond Milk. See, I don't know. The gloss makes it acceptable, but it wasn't acceptable before. But, anyway, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me chit-chat, my little update and all that. If you still here, you are definitely a bomb ass snowflake so leave me a snowflake emoji oh my god i don't think we've done that because i'm always leaving snowflake emojis to you guys in response to you leave me a snowflake emoji if you're still here i hope everybody has a wonderful and happy thanksgiving thank you guys so much for all the love and support you continuously give my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video